Oh yeah, I forgot there's a bunch of weird decorations here as well. We could build a calendar. I I'm gonna build a calendar right now. Screw it, I wanna see what a calendar does to keep track of my time at sea. Um, this will probably get moved up to the living quarters. We could put you there. I've survived 25 days at sea. <laughs> that is really cool. I, I might not survive another 25. The sea doesn't come as tits. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Raft. Now, so far, our time on the Raft has been pretty standard. Really, it's been well within reason that somebody will be able to build a little wooden platform with a wooden home and a wood fire next to his wooden box of dirt. But for today's episode, we're moving into the slightly more unreasonable. We're going from the wood age to the iron age with the smelter. Now you guys will remember that we researched this last episode, but we didn't have the resources to build it. We needed dry brick, which is difficult to come by. But in between episodes, I've stopped off at a bunch of islands. I've gathered a lot of clay and a lot of sand. So we should be able to build a number of wet bricks. Build ten of them. And then we can set the wet bricks on... A deck out to dry in the sun, and then sooner than later, we'll have dry bricks. The other thing that you guys might notice, other than the fact that I'm slowly starving to death, is that I spent way more time than I probably should have building nets and putting them around our entire raft. So now, if we bump into an island or if we bump into an abandoned raft and we get spun around, we won't be traveling backwards, because there is no backwards. Did I just eat a raw herring? Okay, man, we're not that hungry. Just eat. There we go. Eat the cooked one. All better. <laughs> but passively gathering resources in this game is insane. It's just so useful because I could be doing an intro or I could be talking to you guys or I can completely miss the fact that there's an island coming up. We want to stop at the island? I kind of don't, to be honest. I already have... Hold on, let's see here. How many bricks do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Uh, 11. So we have 11 bricks, and I need how many? I need six. Oh, do I really need one more brick to build a second one? Do I have any more? No, no, okay. Um, 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 panic sets in. This is the point where we, we look for stones. Stones? Okay, we already have stones. So, uh, anchor. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna open you up and rotate you around. Slow us down, please, so that I can build an anchor and stop us. <laughs> oh, this is the madness that happens when I'm not paying attention. Okay, we have an anchor, and we can put our anchor right there. We can pick it up, toss it in. That's a little bit off the coast now that I think about it. That might have been a mistake. But I don't really want to get onto the island. Uh, I want to get... Where, why are we going backwards? Why are we traveling backwards so fast? That's another thing. When you throw an anchor, that little tiny bucket of rocks just throws your ship around. It's re oh, and there's one of those. Uh, honestly, I could swim over there. I'm not that afraid of the shark anymore. I might try a little later. Maybe when the sun comes up. I don't think I'm willing to risk it right now, but let's uh, see if we can get some... Oh, you don't have any water in you? Why? There we go. Need water. Need food. Need to kill Barbara by the moonlight. Barbara, please, not right now, okay? I'm gonna be doing some scuba diving later. We can have her dance then. Do you guys hear that? Other than the loud ocean crickets that are near every island? So, oh yeah, sounds like angry seas. Okay, now I'm kind of happy that we stopped here because I don't really want to be doing anything when I'm getting tossed around in a storm. Let's just gather up what we have here. So many resources. Okay, that's wonderful. Oh, yep, we're definitely getting tossed around. Maybe now would be a time to pick up the dry bricks before they get turned back into wet bricks. Some of them not dry. Oh, there we go. Okay, I got all of them. So we should be good for crafting, but I don't really want to right now. Can I sleep? I should move my bed up a level because water just kind of comes in over the... Yeah, I don't really want to be wet. Oh, come on. This is why we built a house. Kind of want to expand my house today as well. I need to work on food. What am I doing with my life? I'm just going to starve to death. Okay, hold on. You go there. You go in me. Fortunately, food is never too difficult to find. Because fish don't really care about storms. What, are they going to get wet kind of thing? So we could just pull them out of the water. If anything, they're more than happy to be out of it. 
uh, raw mackerel. You want, no, you're not one of the big ones. Okay, we can cook you as well. I've stopped with the potatoes and with the beets and stuff like that because they're just not worth it. I'm tired of Steve pillaging my dirt, but I'll get to building some other things today as well because I'm pretty sure we can build larger crop plots. We need metal for them, but we can grow bigger plants, which makes me think we can probably grow watermelon, pineapples, stuff like that. And they're quite a bit more useful than potatoes and beets and things, so... I want to build a garden. I want to... What else do we have? There's a bunch of stuff that we can research that I want to get to eventually. A grill would be nice. This big metal barbecue. Uh, we can grow some trees. A whole lot of cosmetic stuff here, like chairs and tables. And scarecrows? Keep seagulls away from your crop. Oh, we are definitely going to need that. That is going to come in very handy once we get around to it. We have a clock, an advanced purifier. Ooh. I may be able to build that with my glass right now, actually. Bird's nest we can also build. I have a lot of resources. I haven't actually taken a look at what I can build, but I think I can build most of these things now. So how about we grab ourselves some glass, and then we can use that to research up something. I don't think I need to be specific, I just toss it in there and hit research. And then some plastic, toss it in there, research, and now we should be able to unlock, uh, okay, a table, sure. You never have too many tables, and advanced purifier. Can purify several cups of water at once, does not require fuel. That seems super useful. How do I build you? I have just enough glass for this. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, where are we going to put you? Taking a minute, I've given this some thoughts. I think I want the first floor of our house to be kind of a workstation, and then the second floor to be the living quarters, because like I said, that's a whole lot of water coming up over the deck. <laughs> Not the most comfortable place to sleep on. Then I want to build a seagull farm, a plant farm, and then we're also going to need a place for crafting and the smelters and materials and stuff like that. So I'll probably put all of the crafting stuff out in front of the living quarters. We can put the plants over there. And then maybe the seagulls can go on the roof. If not, they'll go over here. We can move all this stuff around, fortunately. But uh, right now, I think I'm going to have to... Oh, I don't know. I can't really move you without losing everything inside, can I? Can I build bigger storage? I think I saw that in here as well, right? Storage. We need a hinge. Okay, well, I do have some hinges, but again, those are the rare things that I don't really want to lose. Or at least waste. Research. Uh, here we go. Okay, we get both. So we also have the uh, crop plot for large plants, being trees. So, if I was to build myself one of those... Oh yeah, I forgot there's a bunch of weird decorations here as well. We could build a calendar? I I'm gonna build a calendar right now. Screw it, I wanna see what a calendar does to keep track of my time at sea. Um, this will probably get moved up to the living quarters. We could put you there. I've survived 25 days at sea. <laughs> that is really cool! I, I might not survive another 25 the sea doesn't come its tits. But storage costs one hinge and five ropes, so we can build uh, a couple, actually. I'm probably going to put them in here. Makes sense, right? In here with the rest of our workstation stuff. We can get poked away in the corner like that. Oh, yeah, you hold a lot of stuff. So let's just get everything over there. All right, Ocean. I think that's enough for one multiple days. Like, I'm still sorting out my inventory and stuff here, and I've spent most of the day doing it, but it has gotten so bad that there are times where I am actually underwater while on my raft. Like, the waves will make my oxygen meter up here, and I'll lose sound for a moment, and I'm starting to worry that this isn't going to stop anytime soon. <laughs> there are very few things at the sea that you dislike. One of them are sharks. W one of them, weather. Kind of worried now that the weather might let the sharks up on my raft. That, that'd be like a double whammy. Okay, let's just put the plants in here with all of the plant stuff. I, I put more storage over here because this is where I'm going to be putting uh, most of my crop plots and stuff like that. 
So we can grow coconuts, pineapples, watermelon, and mangoes. So both of these are going to be trees, and both of these are going to be large crop plots. We also have big fish that I can't fry yet because I don't have proper material. Where are my yellow plants? Yellow plants must still... Yeah, yellow plants are over here. See, this is the stuff that I edit out usually. People are saying, like, don't edit out, Raft. We want to see all of it. But it's just inventory management. It's not all that interesting. Inventory management and raft management. Will you please stop it? I killed you. That's what you get. Guess who just got a, a hefty meal and uh, another head. <laughs> I don't really want more heads, but I'll, I'll take them. Don't get me wrong. Uh, no, let me on. Let me, let me on. Ooh, okay. So, you know what? Um, do I have more heads somewhere? Yeah, I already have a head over here, so you can just go with that one <laughs> shark head collection. The biggest thing is going to be the food. Hooking all this up will make a big difference. I think the ocean has finally calmed down, which means I am putting everything important for my inventory into storage, right? You guys can see it all here, the dry bricks and stuff like that. I don't have anything all that important on me other than my weapons and stuff like that. But I do this because we need to go diving. I don't like this. I don't like this because of you. Also not a big fan that I'm so far away from the island. One of the big issues with this game is that she swims through the island. Okay, you know what? You get your one free shot in. If I need to evacuate back to my raft, I'm, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> yeah, she swims through the island, so she just like appears through this and it drives me freaking crazy. I can defend myself if I see her coming, right? There we go. Um, I brought a backup spear, don't you worry. Just let me get my clay, all right? This looks like clay right here. Please, please, a little bit of clay, a little bit of clay. Oh, nope, just come back in again. Eh. There we go, away with you. Oh, I see sand next to me as well. Okay, more clay. Don't think I need much more than this. Sand. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, ow, 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 okay, you know what? That one's free, that one's free. I got what I came for. We're leaving now, she's in the island. I'm 100% sure that she is in the island. I don't know where she is. Oh, she's over there. What did I drop? No, I dropped something. I dropped my spear. I shouldn't have gone back for the spear. I don't care about the spear. Oh, oh. Please tell me that is what I need. Please tell me that is all that I need. Yes, I knew it would be two and not one of each. Okay, so you hang out right there and dry out, will you? Then we should be good to build our smelters finally. I know it's a huge bummer to miss out on the rest of an island and an abandoned raft and stuff like that, but I know they won't have anything of interest, really. And I don't really want to risk my life just to get more clams and seaweed and stuff like that. I don't think there's anything else here for us, but if I'm moving, we do get passive resource gathering, so I think we're going to set sail. I've got everything that I need for the rest of this episode, so let's just open you up, make sure that we don't hit that. There we go. Okay. We're moving again. I do need to gather resources because Babs just keeps taking bites out of my ship. You guys signed up for edge of your seat nail biting action, so here it is. Oh, come on. I was trying to be sarcastic and now I need to go fight a shark. I just put that there. Why do you love this one piece so much? I actually just built that. And now I don't have any more plastic to build another one. God, oh man. I, I really do need to find a way to permanently kill her. Maybe I can trap her? People have been saying that you can build shark traps in this game. I don't ha know how. It didn't look like something I could research. But maybe if I build something around her, that would work? I'm not sure. That's something that we'll think of and probably try in another episode. But for now, I'm going to go back to watching my brick dry. It's a shame scrap metal is so hard to come by. Like, I guess that's why you need to dive for it, because the main thing that you see when you're diving is scrap metal all over the place. I figured you get it from barrels. There's plenty of barrels, but I guess you don't get it all that often, because I have hundreds and hundreds of each other resource and very little scrap metal. But I need it for the smelter. I need it for crop plots, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I'm not going to be able to build crop plots this episode because I'm way more interested in building the smelters. I can't even build multiple smelters right now. I need, well, nails, which are built using scrap metal, crap, and then I need more scrap metal. So we need to go barrel wrangling. You got anything? No? It's a good of you. Well, we've got another abandoned raft coming up, and i got to make sure not to hit it because I'm kind of happy with the way that we're traveling. 
but there might be some scrap metal on it. You never really know. I wish I could see around my stupid sail or I could crouch or something like that. Ideally, I want to get close enough to it so that we're not going to hit it. And then I'm going to spin my sail around so that we stop moving so fast. Okay, so you do that really quickly. There we go. And we're just going to get this ready. <laughs> There we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. New, no, new, no, new. No. Not this time. And I think that's all that's on there. Right? There's something else on that? It's not sinking. Oh, I don't want to go back over there. Uh, okay, no, we're going again. We're going again. There's something else. There's something else. There's something else. What is this? It's just a bed. There's nothing else here. Oh, it didn't start sinking because I wasn't on it. It starts sinking because of my weight. I never noticed that before. Okay, well screw it, what did we get? More glass, okay, another hinge, more metal. So we got good resources, a little bit more of a headache, but no scrap metal again. You know what, I'm making an executive decision. As the captain of this ship, I'm setting up an anchor, I'm gathering up potatoes, I'm eating them straight from the sea, and then I'm going to go over here. We're making another pit stop. Ooh, this one I might actually be able to get on. And it's got a building which is always good. This time I'll put the anchor on the front of the ship, so hopefully it pulls us forward and not way, way backwards. <laughs> Still getting the hang of this, but I don't want to hit the island. I want to get just close enough that we can kind of jump over there. I, I got a second stair set up from past episodes to get on things, but I really don't want to spin my ship around. So easy does her. Easy does her. Hold on there. Okay. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. We're, we're just gonna, eh, and then, eh. Good? No, no, no anchor. Oh, baby. <gasps> Who's the captain, Barbara? Yeah, that's right, I'm the captain. Can we jump over onto this island? Probably not. Nope. Okay, well, here we are once again. Just gonna get myself some metal real quick, don't mind me. Usually hit a couple of things before she notices. Ooh. Oh. What did she miss? I think she just She's making a loop through the island. I can tell she's making a loop through the You see? She went through the freaking island that's cheating! And through my raft. Why do these sharks not obey the laws of physics? I can't just fight ghost sharks. Oh, it's driving me nuts. Okay, I think we I think we got it. Did we get three metal? Four metal. That's all that I need. Finally, with the power of God and anime on my side, we are gonna make a couple of smelters, and we're gonna put them right out here. So how does this work exactly? This looks like a bit of a furnace. Okay, well you can go there. Ooh, maybe we'll make three if I can. Wouldn't mind having a little smelting corner over here. I don't want to put them out near the edge too far because Barbara Definitely has an appetite for important things of mine. There we go. Yeah, we'll put another one there, I would imagine. I can even move them if I don't like them. So we can place wood inside. Okay. And then... What exactly? I would imagine it involves you. Wait, do we put metal inside? I have metal. Uh, yeah, place metal ore. Oh! Okay, well, one second, she's coming for the important things. Like I said, I'm just gonna have to poke you in the brain some more. Here you go. I'd say you probably smell toast, but you're a shark. You don't know what toast smells like. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we're gonna melt that down into an ingot, and then we'll be able to research stuff with the ingot, I suppose. So for argument's sake, if I wanted to make a third and make my raft a little bit more symmetrical, then I would have to get uh, 12 more clay and 12 more sand. Might be doable, pick up metal ingot. That doesn't look like a metal ingot, that just looks like a pool of very, very hot stuff. But it works for me. Ooh, okay, so we now have a metal ingot. So if I put this into my research, hit it, now we can make uh, bolts, we can make hinges, we can make a stationary anchor, that's how I my to-do list, an advanced grill. I think we can unlock just about everything now, right? If I put this in, hit research, and that'll give us, uh, ooh, okay, a rug, very nice, a chair, a scarecrow. <laughs> Feathers I have? I think I have every resource in the game right now, so I can probably unlock everything. 
The one thing that I can't build yet is a circuit board for the receiver. And I don't even know if I get to build this. Oh, yes, you do get to build a circuit board. You need a copper ingot. How do you build a copper ingot? So I must need to smelt copper. I haven't even seen copper. Maybe, oh, you know what? I'm willing to bet that it's even further down. If I build a scuba diving gear, I could probably go even deeper where I started to find metal. If you go even further, you might be able to find copper. That is going to be something for another episode, methinks. For now, how about we finally get around to setting up that advanced purifier? There we go. So this thing doesn't require anything. Just going to sit here and make water for me? That's pretty sweet. No, this has to require seawater, right? Yeah, okay, cup of seawater. That's what I was going to say. So can I put multiple cups in at a time? I can. I see. So the way it's going to work is when the seawater evaporates from this basin, it's going to run down the glass into that one. And I'm guessing the glass is actually working like a magnifying glass kind of thing. So the heat is... Uh, don't drink this. Pour that out. There we go. The heat comes from the sun rather than from the fire, like that one. Okay. I like it. I'm not going to remove this quite yet because it's been very, very useful for me. <laughs> We're making so much progress. Look at all this. We can uh, get some more ingots. Put you in there. They don't actually work too slow. They're, they're kind of acceptable, I suppose. I, I would still like a third, so maybe we should do a little bit more diving to finish off the episode. Let's just get rid of uh, all the important things that we have once again. <laughs> I do not trust this game. I, I haven't died yet, but... It's really only a matter of time when you kind of screw with death, right? Let's just uh, take a look. Maybe I should try swimming straight down to see if we can find... No, you know what? No, you know, I think that's another episode. Holy crap, this thing is fast. In the time that I jumped in the water, got bitten, and jumped back out, it's already made like a dozen cups of water. I was going to say maybe I'll make a couple of these because why not? But I, I wouldn't even need to. I can't even keep up with putting water into it. That's how quickly it spits it out. That is wicked. Okay, you know what? I want to build a barbecue as well. I'm pretty sure that we've already researched it, right? So I should be able to come over here, grill. I need metal ingots, rope, and nails, and probably a little bit more shark meat for it. I would love to put some shark meat. I told you to stay out of the island, Barbara. Very rude. Very rude. Brain pokies. There we go. Fix you up. All right. Jeez, can't make anything easy for me. Grill, metal ink, okay, rope we have. Nails, I have. Should have all of this poked away in the safety chest. Nails, we have. Uh, metal ink, it's got it, crap. Done. So, you can go, um, hmm. I don't know where I want to put you, actually. Maybe I'll put you over here somewhere. Up here on the corner? Sort of like that idea. There we go. And I'm pretty sure I have some particularly large fish kicking around, like uh, catfish. <laughs> have men these are old too. I caught these in like the first episode. I was like, I don't really want to throw it out, but I get the feeling after a month at sea, it's probably not doing great. That's fine though. Some planks in there. Oh yeah, doesn't that just look wonderful? But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Raft, guys. And we're finally moving into the top tier of technology for this game, which is going to make my day-to-day -day life way easier. But we still have a lot of stuff to do. Still have a lot of resources to gather. I want to build the rest of my garden and my farm and my house and stuff like that. And the radio. There's something about that radio. I know there isn't technically an ending to the game right now because it's still being developed, but I'm pretty sure building a radio would be a step towards survival or rescue. I have already survived. I, I just want to kind of go home now. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.